Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. So it's just me and my puppy over there and I'm hoping my boys are sleeping because it's a late night tea guys. So let's dive in, grab your tea, grab your tree. Look my beautiful Yamayaka. <laughs> And let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space. Mm. I just watered tonight. <laughs> and I ask for a clear, precise channel message for my beautiful collective that's watching me right now. Okay. Remember to use your discernment. Put yourself where you belong. I could be saying he. It could be a she. I could be saying they. It could be. It could be you guys. So. Please put yourself where you belong. Only take what resonates. Leave the rest for somebody it does. Okay? I shouldn't have to tell you that, but entertainment, guys. Tarot is for entertainment. Okay? So I love yous. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post new content for my beautiful new subscribers. And let's tap in. Okay? Spirit guides, make sure that you close any, any, any other door other than the highest white light. Now, before this reading, I did pop out a different reading, but there was no volume. So, you know me. I'm super patient. So, I waited it out. Gave it a little bit of time. And let's get into this late night juice reading. All right? So, we're going to get in oh look the achievement card comes out effort plus intention what else spirit guides and one more gratefully optimistic listen you need to see the joyous view of the future okay it's never mind what's going on now you are very fucking protected and everybody knows it it is what it is guys you're optimistic about life and your achievements are there <laughs> precognition you have this psychic ability and you see the vision you see the future you see others you read people to filth guys it is what it is so your achievements are being very much seen either in the astral realm here on the 3d it's irrelevant guys you are optimistic either way it doesn't matter you're not looking for validation but you do know karma and you see it happen right off the bat right away because you are powerful okay you are in a position of authority okay you may feel as if you lost some kind of power but you did not somebody was just trying to abuse their power because of your fame or recognition of the truth okay your achievements you got the power guys i'm telling you somebody is in having a water disaster they're dwelling or drowning in their own emotions because they're very upset of your prog precognition, your psychic abilities, because your, your high ranks, your spiritual ranks or your psychic abilities allow a lot of people to start feeling real fucking foolish because they thought you were a helpless maiden. They looked down on you. They laughed at you. They made fun of you, but you are a destroyer. So as light as you are, is as dark as you are. And any saboteur kind of energies, you dismantle, destruct, and destroy them. And you're still gratefully optimistic while you do that. Because a lot of people are in a secret society. They think you don't fucking see them. Oh, you see them. You're fucking psychic. Of course you fucking see them. And this is why you're gratefully optimistic. All right? So let's get into these rebel decks, guys. Because clearly the secret society is feeling some kind of way about your power. About your uh, position of power. About your high rankings. I don't know. But your effort plus intention has made that, that happen. So keep going, guys. Look, it says be the hunter, not the hunted. Now, somebody thought you were a damsel in distress or, you know, you were uh, like, OK, for instance, today, it's so funny. But uh, earlier, um, I had a rude uh, cashier. I had went in with my beautiful puppy on the back. See, he's his so like harmless. He's beautiful. Anyways, she wouldn't serve me. And I asked her why. And she said, because I'm not going to lift up the dog because the dog's going to bite somebody dog was harmless she was just being rude and I asked her why are you being rude to me and she's like well next time I'm just not gonna serve you and I said okay you do that and she took my stuff and she wouldn't serve me and she was being rude so I fucking finally called her a bitch and I told her listen can you get your manager on the phone because you are being rude and I did not come here for this like not at all and I'm not gonna let you get away with it either and um yeah, I wasn't leaving without an apology. Like, you can't fucking talk to me like that. No. Anyways, so she called the cops, which I was grateful for because I didn't have my phone on me or else I would have went live with this shit. Like, for real. Anyways, and I waited for the cops. And as I'm waiting for the cops, she's being all rude and smug and disrespectful, like as if she has some kind of right to disrespect people. Anyways.
anyways, the cop comes in and I explain to him real fast and mad, like, yo, this bitch is crazy. Like, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, are you really going to think you can disrespect me and you're not going to fucking apologize to me? Anyways, he got on the phone with the manager. And as he's on the phone with the manager, I told her that she was going to have to apologize because it's ridiculous and I'm high ranked. So and she looked at me and laughed. I told her that I do help a lot of people and that she doesn't have a right to talk to me that way and that she was going to have to apologize. And that's why I'm staying, because after he gets off that phone, she's going to apologize. And she didn't believe me. And she laughed at me right in my face when I told her that I was I help people and I'm a healer. And then sure enough, when he hung up that phone, she had to apologize And I got my fucking stuff. I didn't think I was leaving there with anything other than an apology. And I still got to buy my stuff at the store. You see? Karma instantly. And all I just, I was like, yo, thank you. Goodbye. I'm not going to come around when you, yo, are you fucking serious? You really think that you're you're going to do that and not apologize? It's relax and hold the darkness and be the cause. It's okay to hold the darkness. When you're being a cause, guys, you're not fucking doing this for nothing. You there is a method to your madness (laughs) and you are high ranked and that achievement is coming in. What do you want, guys? What you want wants you what you want wants you. So be the hunter, not the hunted. okay, guys, because it says beyond the uh, defend to the end worthwhile. See, you defend yourself and you defend a lot of other people. Just because there's a lot of people doing this stuff does not mean that it's right and you know right from wrong. And that's why you always, always, it always works out for you because you ain't going around fucking everybody over, guys. You relax, you hold the darkness, and you be the cause. Even if it makes it look crazy to everybody else, you ain't crazy. Nah, you're honest, you're authentic, and you're um, um, articulate with your words. You're very smart. You are the high priestess prophet. 10 of discs in reverse. Oh, no, it's in the upright. Sorry. Yeah, all my cards are in the upright. Hmm? My bad. <laughs> 10, of, 10 of discs. You got legacy, okay? And you're really shaking a lot of people up right now. And why? It's because of the nine of nine of swords, okay? A lot of people wanted you to be in this mental entrapment, prison of the mind, queen of cups in the upright because you're loving, you're kind. Oh, that's what it is. A lot of people wanted to take advantage of you, you know, because of the fact that you uh, do have understanding, compassion and grace and you put your intuitive. So it ends up putting a lot of people in their motherfucking head because they think they could come up against you. But you got real legacy. You got real spiritual wealth. Because you're the fucking empress. Look, that falls on my fucking floor. Somebody tried to juggle you. A lot of people did. And they wanted you to self-sabotage. But you ain't juggling shit. Yo, you're the empress. You stand in your power ten toes down. That's why the ten pentacles is there. You know who you are. You hold your fucking self accountable. Like, listen, I was wrong for calling her a bitch. It is what it is. Like, yo, I know I was wrong. But at the end of the day, don't be a bitch. (laughs) Like... I don't know. I got no fucking shame. I'm not gonna, I'm not hurting anybody. But you fucking disrespect me. You think you're going to get away with it. And you got another thing coming. And this is exactly what you're doing. Being the hermit or hermitist and going inwards. Doing that soul, uh, that soul searching. That reflecting. You don't bother nobody. Mind your business and the business that pays you. And people want to step on your fucking toes. Well, then they end up getting caught up. Look, see? Three of cups. A lot of people want to work with you. Because you are authentic. It's about fair. And people know that you're fair. That's why they're really up in their heads. Seven of discs. Maybe because they didn't invest in you. There's a lot of people who want to invest in you now. You have really put in the work. What you reap, you sow, guys. And the ace of swords is there. All right. Somebody lied on you. Could be a queen of cups. Or they lied that and said that you weren't compassionate. This is how a lot of people were. Trying to get you all caught up and feel like you weren't good enough. King of discs. Four of discs. There's, there's, um, okay. So in the tarot, (laughs) we don't say, it's funny. I'm sorry. But in the tarot, we don't say, um, we don't say sugar daddy. We say the king of discs. So there could be a king of discs coming in, but somebody lied to this person so that this person wouldn't invest in you. Tower in reverse. Now somebody feels like they can't come back from you because Somebody's trying to hold on to you. And it's this king of discs. This, like I said, 
Yeah, five of probes. Somebody can't fight with you anymore. Bottom of the deck, it's the emperor in reverse. Whoo, this emperor in reverse is mad of your abilities, psychic abilities. Could be a father figure, a mentor. This person is not a leader. They are a follower. It could be a woman, guys. Take it as a resonance. The rules can be reversed. They are only energies. But you have the emperor in reverse, the empress in, re in the upright. This emperor in reverse is holding on to you. And this king of pentacles wants to come in to like sugar daddy you or whatever the fuck this is. But somebody is mad because they can't fight with you. There's a tower moment here and somebody really lied on you so somebody wouldn't invest in you. But somebody is coming in to celebrate with you because they know that you're the hermit or hermitist. You are definitely planting seeds and watching it grow. Even after people juggle you, you still hold on to your own assets because you're intuitive. Now, this queen of cups, this person who said they were loving and kind, clearly are not if they're lying on somebody, okay? So flip the roles, put yourself where you belong and put these people where they belong. But somebody is in a mental entrapment because you do invest in the right fucking things, which keeps you straight, solid, and legit. Somebody can't control you. Somebody can't be biased towards you. Somebody is very fucking upset of your rankings and that no matter what, you always transmute the darkness into light. And it could be that somebody is sending you a lot of darkness, but you're still always persevering. Four of swords. I'm telling you, you are a master healer, a master manifester, and a master conceptioner. Like, a conce like you know, like you really do make nothing out of something. And when people do... Like, it's like you transmute that darkness into light on a whole different level. Like, instantaneously, you are really being, like, relaxing and holding the darkness so that you can be a cause. Serious, you're a real fucking rebel. Because, you know, it's the four of wands. There's a lot of people that are unhappy and wanted you to be unhappy. So they're trying to postpone your happiness, make sure that you have canceled plans and this and that. And this is why somebody is in their mental entrapment. They think that you're going to be up in your head, but you're not. You're waiting for a real emperor. Now this emperor is coming in to offer you a brand new beginning with this ace of pentacles. Now, you could be the emperor in your own life, and this is why you kind of, you know, do your own thing. You could be the emperor and the empress, you know, very fucking balanced. So you protect your what you're creating. That's why the four of swords is there. You are very much, very much protected, but somebody's fearful of you. They feel very overwhelmed and stressed, and they need to relax or heal from this near-death experience. Somebody needs to go into solitude, and it's a king of cups. Come. Okay, somebody is emotionally unstable. They're feeling very overwhelmed because of the fact that you're calling them out. Now, this could be a friend, family, acquaintance. This could just be anybody. But at the end of the day, karma comes right reeling on them like in an instant. Because it's like that six of wands. Guys, somebody feels like they're a failure. And they're not a failure. Or it's just that somebody felt like they could have gave you more, but they didn't. I don't know. And now somebody's coming in to give you everything that you should have been given. But there's this king of pentacles in reverse that is feeling like they have no protection. They're folding in their beliefs or something. Somebody wants to give up and admit, admit defeat. Five of wands. I'm telling you, they don't want to fight anymore. It's because you are wish fulfillment. They know that you are the like the ace of pentacles, the gift. You have a divine partnership coming in. But you have to end something. Okay, with the world, there's successful and uh, success and achievements here. You have to defend yourself. It's going to be worthwhile. Stand up for yourself. Don't be a pick me kind of person because the wheel of fortune is in your favor with the world and the wheel of fortune back to back like that. That's epic because that's major arcanas, guys. You got good luck. You are good luck. You are mo walking motherfucking karma. And a lot of people didn't want to transform. They didn't want to be honest. They want to laugh in your face. Whole time, really, they want to take your place. <sighs> They fear the new beginnings and then they end up getting stuck with all kinds of discontentment and then they try to, you know, push that on you. I knew this girl had issues, okay? And I asked her, what's your fucking problem? It's not me or my dog. And she was like giving me attitude as the cop was on the phone, like I said. And I'm like, fuck, you're probably drinking back there. And sure enough, she was like, well, what she said was no. I'm not drinking. I'm pre uh, or like, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to drink while I'm pregnant. And I'm like. OK, and then she takes and then she takes her drink and she starts drinking it and it's a Red Bull. And I looked at her like a rebel's not any better. Like, it's just like people don't realize what they're doing and that they're bleeding on other people. And that's exactly what I told the cop when it came in. 
don't know what the fuck her problem is, but she doesn't have a right to be bleeding on me. I don't know what her problem is. She's fucking, I know what her problem is, is what I said, is that she's pregnant and she's not allowed to bleed on me like this. She can't disrespect me like this. It's that um, high priestess in reverse, the knight of pentacles, okay? Now, listen, we have to understand that sometimes we do get very impatient with people because we know and we see that clearly they are going through something. So when she did tell me that, I did lay off on her a little bit, but she wouldn't lay off on me. <laughs> it's like, I was like, yo, listen, you can't fucking manipulate me. You can't fucking trick me. You're just wasting your fucking time because I don't deal with illusions. And somebody really tried to put a lot of illusions on you and they were wasting their fucking talents. Two of Swords, because you got out of the Two of Swords, the illusions, but somebody's having a stalemate. And they wanted this to happen to you. So, like I said, somebody may be trying to throw all kinds of shit at you, but they're understanding that with your precognition, your psychic abilities, you get everything you want because what you want already wants you. I'm telling you, you are the hunter, not the hunted. And this secret society has got a whole other thing coming because your power is radiating high. You got a knight in shining armor coming in or you just are your own motherfucking knight in shining armor, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's the three of pentacles. No, somebody really wants to work with you, okay? And it's because you are the queen of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius doesn't have to be, but you're honest, you're truthful, okay? You're very protective and you're independent. And you have this charitable energy. So you give and you receive. You're fair is what it comes down to. But you can be very critical. And me, as being an Aquarius, you know, an air sign, sometimes we can be very, very detached. So shit, do to me and I can do to you. It's called an impact. It's called a uh, Hayoki impact. And somebody feels very left out from you because they were a player player in, from a Himalaya or they were arrogant and reckless. Okay. They were hypocritical. They had no fucking... It, it's about principles, guys. At the end of the day, it's about principles. And this is why you it's the Three of Swords. You healed from this. You released any kind of pain, any kind of overwhelming depression because you speak your truth. You're honest. You have nothing to hide. And this is why somebody is feeling a little bit of hardships, okay? They're like... Um, they're feeling left out in the cold or they really thought they were going to get away with something. But you just, you flip the script every time somebody tries to go up against you. Because the Wheel of Fortune and the fucking world is there for you consistently. You are gifted. You are highly ranked. And the Nine of Wands is there in reverse. Somebody is returning from their struggles and wanting to compromise. They're giving in. They're not being stubborn anymore because clearly they fucking... They're broken. They're in despair and they're losing. They're, they're, they're <sighs> Nobody deserves to be in this position, guys. So help somebody if you can, okay? Because you got a soulmate coming in. Somebody sees you fighting and, and persevering even when you know you're, you're having to be resilient. And I hate that fucking word, but you are resilient. And somebody is not so as, as so resilient as you. So be a little bit, you know, be honest. But try not to, like, you know, hurt people in the process. And this is why I always end up getting away with what I, you know. Because the higher power always sees the truth. So as long, long as you speak your truth, even if you're, you know, a little bit belligerent, it's irrelevant. The truth raises higher than anything ever, especially arrogancy. So, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically, okay? So remember that you are your own soulmate. So the only time that you can really, truly love and value yourself is if you stand up for yourself. You know right from wrong and you don't allow other people to get disrespected. Why are you going to be a hypocrite, okay? It is really about principles and being fair. And a lot of people feel left out from you because of their laziness, their lack of you know, give and take or reception, um, consideration. Okay. So a lot of people are disloyal is what it comes down to. And you already released this. You have optimism and forgiveness. You're gratefully optimistic, right? It says when, uh, when we pass from this world, we take nothing with us, but our soul and the memories we share with those we love. This is why you have legacy 10 of pentacles guys, because at the end of the day, Look inside yourself. You have everything you need inside yourself. And this is why Source is always going to make sure that you are good. There's nothing there. They love you. It says, imagine, uh, ex 
Imagine what is, uh, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay, look at yourself. See the achievement. Understand that you are a warrior of love. Okay, so you are resilient. <laughs> you can persevere because you are the fucking sun. Ying. Now you have a divine masculine here. That's that yin card. That's the divine masculine internally. So the feminine is loving and graceful and compassionate. But the divine masculine is dominant in protection. Okay? So it's about being proactive, being expansive, doing and moving forward consistently, understanding that raw creator, sun god, whatever is protecting you. Okay? You have mutable. Surrender fluidity and welcome in change. Okay, guys, it's time to welcome in change. It's time to do something new in the sixth house. Establish a foundation. Health, daily life, and practical details. What you choose to do on a daily basis is exactly who you are, guys. And you surrendered to the fluidity and you welcomed in change. And people need to welcome you in or not. It is what it is, but you established your foundation. And uh, they, nobody can take it away from you. Cancer. Because you nurtured yourself, you comforted yourself, and you protected yourself. Now, a cancer could be really up in the motherfucking feelings. Because, yo, you, uh, you, you call it out. It is what it is. Yeah, and you're healing. You're probably healing from a cancer who's clearly not very nurturing, comforting, or very protective. But that's why you're all those things for yourself. It's this healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Somebody is sending you a lot of love and a lot of light because holy fuck, they know you can't be fucked with. It says, I know I was a distraction to your pain. Somebody is being very distracted to their pain right now. And you don't have any distractions to distract you from your pain. You feel the fucking pain and you let it. So then this way you can evolve from it. Part of the deck, somebody wants you. And they're continuously distracting themselves from coming forward. And it says, I hope that you can forgive me one day. Now, my phone is dying. So give me a second and let me see if this is going to work. Okay. Now, where's my light? <laughs> I don't think my light's going to come back on. Okay. Wow. Of course, it's always something, right? But it says, I hope you for can forgive me. Now, somebody's light may be shutting off. Somebody may be on the verge of, you know, just, you know, I don't know. It's either they're going to hit you up or they're, I don't know. They're desperate. Somebody feels very desperate right now. It says, I feel you even though we are apart. Yeah, see, somebody is very desperate to talk to you. They want to be near you. They know that your energy is just infectious, like it's, to it, 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 it's intoxicating. Spirit guides, let me get one of these messages, please. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but I know you can hear me. You make impossible things happen, it says. Working through disbelief. Imaginative leaps and fresh perspective. Somebody sees a fresh perspective. They know that you make impossible things happen and that you only do it from the kindness of your heart. It says such curious dreams. It says grounding, returning back to reality and coming home. Somebody wants to come home. Somebody feels like you are home. Maybe you don't know this person. Take it as it resonates, guys. But you make impossible things happen. And somebody really was distracting themselves from the pain. And this is a moment of regret. Somebody is in a lot of regret for distracting themselves and not coming forward. Nostalgic, uh, ideal, I, idolizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. I'm telling you, somebody really fears they made a mistake because they know that you're standing mature, structured, and you're, you have mental health, physical health, whatever. It's all health all the way around. And somebody wants you says, we will be together again. This is not supposed to be in here, guys. This is finding out the truth crushed me. We both know I'm not the one for you. My life is not all together. I'm afraid to contact you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. And I can't stop thinking about you. I'm telling you, somebody is very, very upset. And they want to be back with you or, or somebody wants to meet you. I always put it as it where it fits, guys, okay? So 
a moment of regret and it says drank the poison. See, somebody drank the fucking poison. Somebody listened to the external world and didn't listen to their own subconscious. Like, I'm telling you, they're in a lot of fucking regret. It says, do not do things that you know are bad for you. Somebody knew they should not have done this. And, well, you know, and you probably warn people, don't do this. It's not a good idea. You're going to have to apologize or you're going to have to inevitably come back because people don't be playing in my energy and get away with it. But it is what it is. Hangman in the upright, guys. Somebody lacked direction. They should have sacrificed something. Now somebody feels a little bit trapped and confined. They can sacrifice. It's about changing your perspective, guys. Somebody needs to relax and be the fucking cause. Do something for a cause. Because everything is being returned back to sender. Can you see that? I don't know. Oh, I'm so poor. But anyways, it's there. Okay, guys? Return back to sender. You're blinding them. Somebody's trying to shut off your light, but you're still going through. Why? Because you power through things. You're following your own path, it says. And one more. And it says divine bodyguard. You have a divine bodyguard. Nobody can touch you da, 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 because you're mature, yo. Somebody's spazzing the fuck out in the background because they literally can't fucking touch you. Because the strength and the upright is right here. It wants to come out. You have that inner power, that inner strength. You're brave, guys. And I think you just tamed somebody's fucking demons, yo. I'm telling you. You are an influencer. You have high ranks in the spiritual realm. And you focused. A lot of people are getting karma. They need to stop right the fuck now, it says, because they're all getting hung up. Somebody needs to sacrifice something because they keep drinking the motherfucking poison and you're the fucking goat. Greatest of all times, guys. The ancestors said it. It is what it is. Your achievements are being seen in full front. The world, you're ending cycles too. And it's also bringing in a lot. The 21 reduces down to the empress. <laughs> yeah. And then look, chariot. Yep, you're moving forward, balanced. Masculine and feminine going towards what you want, the sun. That's happiness, joy, perspective, enlightenment. And you're doing the right thing, okay? Now, somebody does feel a little bit detached or that you are detached, but you're not. You're just trying to, you're just trying to find balance because you know a lot of people are trying to get you fired or put out and you ain't about this. You're just trying to get people to have fairness because you're high vibrational. But as high as you are, it's as low as you are, guys. You're very balanced is what it comes down to. So you're not really high or low. You're balanced. It's fair. You're fair. It's about equilibrium at the end of the day. And that's what brings you so much happiness. And you're able to say peace the fuck out to whoever the fuck you want. Because you know your worth. You ain't a pick me. You don't need all this. You don't need all that. <laughs> it is what it is. You're single, self-sufficient, independent. You, I don't make it up. Fuck, I love my ancestors. So let's get a subconscious message. I know you can't see the cards, but... I'm here, guys, okay? Spirit guides, you're going to have to trust me, okay? So who am I ready to forgive? It's time to forgive, guys, okay? Somebody wants you to forgive them, and it's time to forgive. Not for them, but for you. Fuck, you don't have to take anybody back. <laughs> you got a smart-ass fucking mouth, so you're definitely going to fucking tell them off if they don't fucking act correct. It is what it is. Somebody try to control you, and then they feel some kind of way. What's this? Justice. Ha, <laughs> they get the justice, see? So it says, am I, um, I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. It is time to let go, forgive, and, and move onwards. It's your soul, is your soul ready to forgive someone or else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from the shoes, uh, from shoe, uh, look at it from their shoes. Notice how your, you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what you want, what your soul wants? Okay, so somebody's resistance is like it's hindering what their soul really wants. Today's soul action. Write a forgiveness letter, then send it to the person. No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> it says, while thinking of the person, you are ready to forgive. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. Okay, so somebody is thinking about this and is saying, I love you. I'm sorry. And please forgive me and thank you. Okay, so somebody is saying this to you. Okay, so you might have already forgave them. I don't know, guys. I love you. And I think you should forgive somebody or they're forgiving you. I don't know. We all make mistakes. We can all grow from it. But we have to be honest. And it's about fairness. And somebody was really fucking greedy with your energy. 
and now feel some kind of way because I don't know your power is like legit. <laughs> it's legit. You can. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is, guys. Somebody's on the verge of coming and spilling the tea, about to reveal and confess. Now that's the only card that wanted to come out because somebody feels crushed. Okay, they they're bike might have broke down or their car might have broke down i don't know but somebody feels sad broken alone maybe they don't have a way to travel to you to see you i don't know but somebody is about to come and pop the fuck up and it, and reveal and confess everything the tea is spilt because you're an alien yo i'm telling you everybody knows you're a fucking alien and somebody really wants you to be together i don't know this could be your twin flame like kind of star seek kind of soul mate kind of energy take it as it resonates put it where it fits you know but you have that telepathic energy and you could be telepathically communicating with somebody in the astral realm but somebody is very 3d and you're very 5d you are the matriarch and they're like the patriarch so this the system could you know be friends family acquaintances put it where the fuck it is but somebody drank the poison and they didn't realize that you were going to get the messages through your dreams through songs that you read people the filth and you make impossible things happen that's why somebody's going to come back and have to tell the truth because inevitably that's always what happens and you forewarn somebody and now they're seeing that yeah that's 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 just what it is it just what is it is just what it is and it says now is not the time gossip only hurt and let's get one more of these cards and it says no okay so you're not dealing with somebody right now you're telling them no because they keep talking about you somebody keeps fucking gossiping about you and it says i am in pain so much pain so it's because they're in so much pain they're talking shit about you so somebody needs to do some healing yeah, it says self-love, creation, and intentions. It's all about intentions, guys. Somebody knows your intentions are pure. You tapped into that creativity and you have self-love. So everything you do is out of the kindness of your heart or, you know, just, you know, balancing of the scales. It is what it is. You do it with maturity and you do level the fuck up. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? So you're telling people no because you have a right to say no. You have a right to say you do not deserve this and... Um What's fair is fair and somebody's in their emotions. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You've already seen that cancer be all up in their fucking energy. Be real fucking salty about your position. But it is what it is, guys. Family, home, and commitment. It could be somebody from your home. It could be a mother. It could be a father. It could be a boyfriend. I don't know. But somebody is upset with you because you have a, a solid commitment or foundation coming in. It's the tower moment. I'm telling you, this family, this group, this corporation, these past people, or just you new know, people that, you know, underestimate you. They have unexpected tower moments every time they try to fuck with you. <laughs> Look, the tower moment again, because you have divine intervention. Divine intervention always steps in, guys. I love you. I hope this is resonating. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people trying to control you with some kind of tactics and shit. And then the ancestors end up coming in with divine intervention because you are on your north node. You have this cosmic soul purpose. You are on your purpose. And somebody wants forgiveness and it could be your soulmate. And then heart of the deck. Yeah. Somebody tapped into the higher self. Your higher self is activated. And because your higher self is activated, these motherfuckers who try to use control tactics or think they're better than you end up getting fucking caught up in the noose right away and then end up feel looking at the memories and feeling all nostalgic because you have self-respect and say peace the fuck out and would rather be single and enjoy your singleness. And look, somebody's clinging to the past but wants to come in and have compassion towards you or love on you or something but you just love on yourself you have enough compassion to be mature and and have grace for yourself and understand it's not about being perfect it's about getting out of the anxiety somebody feels scared and panicked that's why they're continuously lying because they feel like they're they're scared of people drinking a fucking poison being people pleasers yo and it got them real fucked up didn't it and your ancestors their deities got you man i'm telling you you are protected on all fucking levels i want one more because your self-love that's what gives you that bodyguard you followed your path. You're returning back to sender. All the fucking negative energies that were sent towards you. You are gratefully optimistic for all the good, all the bad, everything in between. And you use your psychic abilities to defend yourself to the end, guys. It is what it is. You relax. You hold that darkness and you become the motherfucking cause. And a lot of people are seeing your achievements. They could feel any kind of way they want. It's irrelevant. You don't give a fuck. You're completely unbothered. I love you guys. Stay blessed. I hope this helped. Justice is coming in, okay? And then it says life purpose again. I'm telling you, life purpose is there. People can say whatever they want, but you are on your life purpose. 
They bless three, four, four, four on my motherfucking clock, guys. And it says, I am absolutely in love with you. Somebody is absolutely in love with you because they know you. Nah, they know you. Oh, yes. And a lot of people got their issues with themselves, so they like to bleed onto others. That's not okay. It's not okay, so that's why you dismantle and disrupt, disrupt all kinds of people who are in this secret society thinking that they can do this. Remember, they only feel some kind of way because they thought they can get away with it or they always got away with it. But once they step to you, they don't get away with it no fucking longer because you are peace. You're a fucking alien and I'm from here. And, uh, yo, you're moving forward. So I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. I love you guys so, so much. Okay. If you're feeling generous and want to donate back, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. It helps to generate the algorithm for YouTube or you can donate back through my PayPal. Okay. Truly appreciate you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah! Bye. And look, my puppy. I don't even think he moved back there. <laughs> Stay blessed, guys. Bye.